Witnesses include the executive vice president of Comcast and the president of AT&T Michigan. This House Energy and Commerce Committee hearing is about two hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the um, subcommittee on telecommunications and the Internet. Uh, today we're going to have uh, a hearing which examines the issues related to uh, public educational and governmental services on cable systems. Um, I want to uh, begin uh, by welcoming my good friend uh, Cliff Stearns from Florida as the new ranking member of the Telecommunications uh, Committee. Uh, Cliff and I have been friends uh, since the first day uh, that he came to Congress and came immediately down into the House gym and began uh, blocking my shots. And so uh, that has been a, uh, uh, and I, I thought I would make that honest disclosure up front, uh, Cliff, and, um, uh, and I, I think we're going to have a, a, a great uh, relationship as the um, years go by. Um, what I'd like to do, though, is first, because uh, uh, Anna Eshoo just absolutely has an urgent uh, reason to leave to recognize her to make an opening statement uh, first, and then I will recognize Cliff Stearns and then make my own opening statement. The chair recognizes the gentlelady from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I really appreciate it. And to the ranking member, Mr. Stearns, for allowing me to uh, just make a brief opening statement and uh, kind of leapfrog over others. Uh, the uh, House Intelligence Committee, uh, Committee is, uh, uh, is uh, beginning a very important uh, hearing right now, and so as a member, uh, um, uh, I, I really need to get there, but let me just say a few words and thank the witnesses for being here. Uh, certainly to uh, Ms. Folger, Annie Folger, uh, who's here from Palo Alto, California, which is uh, uh, the heart of my district, is the executive director of the Mid-Peninsula Community Media Center. Uh, they provide a wonderful uh, 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 service to our community. Uh, the mission of that organization, uh, as it is for others uh, like hers, uh, is to uh, use television and the Internet uh, to create and distribute programs that promote and celebrate individual expression, local achievements, education, local uh, cultural exchanges, arts appreciation, and civic engagement. Those are very, very important uh, 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 things in our communities across our country. In fact, it's a snapshot of civic life in America. Uh, uh, her organization and others also provide the most local programming on television. They cover all the city councils, all the meetings, all the things that, uh, that go on in the, uh, for, in the public square that the public really needs to be included in, uh, in all the areas that, um, uh, that I just mentioned. Now, the PEG channels are a vital first-class function for communities across the country, and I, I think that they're being threatened uh, by second-class treatment uh, on, uh, on AT&T's um, uh, video service. Uh, Ms. Folger is going to testify today about AT&T's uh, U-verse product, which is new to my congressional district, and uh, I hope that we can get the kinks out of this, that it doesn't uh, carry the characteristics that seem to be uh, part of it now. Now, AT&T recently received a, a statewide license in California to provide video service, but unfortunately they're televising PEG channels uh, in such a cumbersome way that it threatens access to those channels uh, nationally. Uh, there's going to be a short demonstration that uh, Ms. Folger is going to put on. I think it'll be of great interest uh, to, the, uh, to the subcommittee uh, and, uh, and will underscore how UVerse doesn't permit viewers to record PEG channels on their DVRs, that the picture quality uh, is a quarter of the quality of a normal channel and closed captioning is not provided. I think we have to do much better. I think that when a state license, uh, um, a statewide franchisee license is issued, uh, that there are public obligations to that. So, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm sure that part of um, the, uh, uh, the regular order will be that we can uh, write letters and, uh, uh, for the record, to our, uh, to our witnesses and have them respond. And uh, again, uh, Ms. Folger, thank you for being here. Thank you to my colleagues for allowing me to uh, move in front of you. Uh, I hope that we can get past these issues, and uh, I'm sure the witnesses uh, will, uh, will address uh, the points that I'm irritated about and uh, help uh, us to have a comfort level and that, uh, that it will no longer be the case. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and to all of my Great. colleagues. I very much appreciate it.
The gentlelady's time has expired, and we welcome you, Ms. Folger, as well. My wife grew up in Palo Alto, and um, she believes that her marriage to me is proof that there is such a thing as downward social mobility, leaving, <laughs> leaving Palo Alto. So we welcome you.